Welcome back to the <laughs> vlog. That took us two attempts. Oh my God. <laughs> Professional. We're here, Ostravar again. And we're back. How magical was it last time, Brian? It was magnifique. <laughs> One of the best nights of fights I have ever called. Uh, we've ever seen and yep. we're back again for more Josh for the tip sport game changer now we're gonna start this vlog a little bit different so we're gonna take you back because this morning we had the official weigh-ins take a look at this now this is the important part this is where we're gonna get to the juicy stuff of this vlog What's going on today, Brian? This is something very special. So last time we were in Ostrava, they did a thing called Octagon Time, which is where they do all their announcements. They uh, sort of talk to the fans, and they tell them what's coming. This is where they announced Tip Sport Game Changer last time. We've got another Octagon Time. We've got some more big announcements. Let's go look. Game changer fighters up there now, but what are we expecting for the rest of this press conference? So we should have, we should have the one the only Jonas Magard, the shark, uh, Gustavo Lopez also should be here. Patrick Kinsale is here. Vermola uh, is on his way, um, and hopefully Keita and Sani Kitse. So after this, we should have an even hotter press conference with those big fights to come. Oh, let's go! Come on, Brian, look at that. You guys like it? I like it. I wasn't sure. I want to show. I was like, oh, should I show it? Yeah. I am. <laughs> Wait, mate. This is mate. Hey, it gets it get better. It gets it get, it get, it get better. It gets better. Nice. Appreciate you, sir. We'll see you soon, okay? Cheers, yes. yeah, dude. Bye. Come. 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 Oh, yeah. this? You know, I lost Octagon the bet. Octagon really gets people very stressed. You know, every time yeah. I've <laughs> noticed this. It really does. Oh, no, it is. It's because of the stress. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Hey. Oh, my God. There you go. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think of his jacket? I think it's very pretty. It's very pretty. It's very, very we put pretty. On Brian, it looked even prettier, to be fair. I think he's doing, he's putting himself in that position. But I don't think he knows that we're in Ostrava and we're not in uh, Las Vegas. I don't think people are going to understand his, his little act. But uh, he's a very, he has a very colourful personality, just like a rainbow. Everyone thinks that the party is out there in the press there. This is where the party is at. The party is backstage, where all the fighters are getting ready to go out. Brian's just loving everybody. Oh, I love everybody. Man, how good is this? How good is this? This is it though, backstage access. This, this is, is what, what this is about. what the vlog's this all is about. This is what the vlog's about, the vibe, the energy, the people, and Philip Harburger's hat. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's cool, it. isn't it? I actually I, love it. it was, you know, Game of Thrones finished a few years ago, right? <laughs> you're, like, you're a little bit late to this I party. Go, I'm coming straight out of the uh, out of the haircut. We just did it 30 minutes ago. It's but... sushi, you know? Did you go to the salon too and get your beard done? <laughs> <laughs> right, so they're going to do the face-offs now, and then we've got the rest of the big boys coming out for another press conference. Big boys and two midgets. Well, Kin Silver Merler as well, they're coming oh, out. Yeah, yeah I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the little guy. He's, he's not a fan of, uh, of one of the champions. Do you understand? Know, it reminds me, of, I, I knew there was something that really got me, but I'm like, I couldn't hit the nail on the head, but it did. It, it reminds me of Ian McCall. And, and yeah, I mean, me and me, Ian McCall have got history. So, like, yeah. Watch your back, Lopez, backstage. Yes, done. Lopez. <laughs> Done the ceremonial way and now we're on the second part like this this is unbelievable so this press conference now we've got Magad, we've got lopez we've got kieta samakinze kinsel vermola talking shit selling fights that's what we want to see 
Where is Alexei? I'm looking for him. Where are you? Hey, listen. First here, of all, here. hey, shut up. I'm talking. I'm gonna beat you. No, I'm ah, gonna beat you. No, I'm, I'm gonna talking. beat you. Listen, I'm talking. I'm gonna beat you. No. I'm gonna beat your translator also. Tra 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 hey, 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 hey. I'm beating you and your translator also. Because he no. is the one who's talking. He is the one you, who's you talking. You cannot even speak English. Shut up, brother. What's going on, bro? What? 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 Where is Sunny Ixe? I'm looking for Sunny Ixe. Where is Instagram? Come on, I want you to talk. 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 You have big money on social media. Talk. Talk. Say something. Say something. Yeah, you know, your head is great. I know I'm a professional. I'm a full-time professional. We are part-time professional. We have other businesses and all these things. And they will show me. I'm gonna punch you in your mouth. I'm gonna break that jaw again. I'm gonna break my jaw. I'm still gonna I'm, keep I'm, fighting. I'm not the person to talk shit to bring people. Oh my to take god. Now this American thing down. comes in. Come on. Like what? You, you're embarrassing all of these people. Come on, give a little bit. That's it. I'm gonna take that bell away from you and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let you go okay. back home. And you're going to yeah. change your life. Mm -hmm. While you're in a jacuzzi in LA chilling, I'm in an ice bath in Manchester, grinding, working my ass off. He's worried about me too much. He's thinking about me too much. Yeah. Let him be as ready as he wants. I stay ready. I stay ready. Josh, I'm going to kill a guy. Yeah? yeah? I don't know. This guy, he talked too much on the internet, but here he's uh, it's nothing. I want the same energy. And I promise you, Judge, I'm gonna beat this guy. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna beat this guy. I'm gonna beat the double champ. <laughs> oh my goodness, Brian. Oh, like, I'm sold. Give me them fights tomorrow. Yeah. Santa Kids AK, Lopez Magad. Oh my goodness. Uh, the stare downs were great. Some of the back chat on the conference. Right on the line. Very bad. Yes. We crossed the line. Magad, watching you, you crossed the line. <laughs> He used my joke. He did use Mashed your potato. joke. Mashed potato, right? <laughs> In a statement he released, he said, I don't like being roasted like that. When I next see Jonas, I'm going to smash him. Enough of the potato jokes. I'll get my jacket. <laughs> you write it for him now? I'm not, listen, I, you can pay me some money for those lines, all right, mate? Mate, but you know what's next, don't you? Fight day. Fight day. Let's go. Fight day. This is it, this Woo! is fight night. We started the vlog tonight in the cage. Now, I've just recorded round zero, which was amazing, Brian, like. You were great, Josh. Well done. Well that was my done. second time of doing it. I felt so much calmer, so much more collected. It was such good fun. Yeah. And like, both of us in, that, in the round zero got goosebumps just trying to talk about tonight. I, I'm not gonna lie, mate. I think tonight's gonna be special again. It, it feels I've, I've, it, right? It? it feels it. I've got nerves. I don't get super nervous doing this. I get excited, but it's a mix of nerves and excitement. This cage will host every welterweight that is within the tournament. One of those welterweights will leave. December 9th will be the finale. December 9th here in Ostrovar again, and they will leave as the champion, the European Tip Sport champion with 300,000 euros. Three, can, imagine having that much money. He gets paid that for every episode yes, of Hype. Yes. Mate, nothing more <laughs> needs to be done. Let's get into the Let's first fight. Go! This is some fight, mate. This is some fight. Oyan Milicic, UFC veteran, PFL veteran, has hit his fourth David Cosmo for the title. But he's taking on Ayon Serdu, who is a knockout artist. Nine knockouts, all in the first round. Trains in handcuffs now, and he's just a dangerous man. We've got the champ. We've got those in Kiev. Hey. The house. Look at this. So this, I like this view, yeah? You like this fight? You like the view, you like yeah, the fight? Yeah, so you guys are always sitting here? Yeah, this is where we sit, so this is, we are like the alternative uh, commentary. Yeah. So you just say what you see, 
okay. enjoy the fight. Okay. If somebody gets sparked out, you jump up, scream, and enjoy the enjoy but the fireworks. I, but Club is a, is a smart fighter, yeah. Absolutely, UFC yes. veteran, yeah. uh, PFL veteran, oh. but sir. New gloves. Yeah, new gloves. Damn. You like them? You want a pair? That's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that's sexy. Whoa! George, can it be true? Ooh. If I sit here, I don't want to fight no more. <laughs> you want to be? This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine how good it is in this seat watching you fight. Uh, Amazing. I'm uh, telling you, first hand is amazing. <laughs> if, if I'm fighting, you also heard the song of the of the of the feast. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah feel it. It's you crazy. can feel it. Ooh, nice. these body kicks are gonna yeah, pay yeah. dividends later on. That like a low kick to me. That one looked a little bit. I never saw that. Oh, I always oh, wanted to see that. Yeah. You go for an anaconda. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese necktie. What? I'm not gonna fight no more. Next time, I want to see you also. Stop it, my guys. I always wanted to see that. Oh, man. Look at this. Get out on social media. This is this is not this is not normal. This tournament is gonna be insane. I'm telling you. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever witnessed a double knockdown? Never. There was no better way to witness that than next to you and Lozen and Kieta. Come on. I mean, listen, you are you're a lucky man, mate. How you're a lucky that? man, yeah? Okay, so this is the one we're a little bit disappointed about because Hathaway is out. Hathaway got injured, the UK fighter is out, but Grabinski from Germany has stepped in to take on Hungary's Matej Kertes. The lights are on, I gotta do the job. See ya. <laughs> For this one, we've got Gravinsky versus <laughs> Kurtesh. Ooh, uppercut. Kurtesh going for the shoots for a takedown. Ooh, knee. Oh, big knee! Wow. Kurtesh is fighting here now. Kurtesh is just holding on. He's doing the right thing though, trying to get his chin back underneath him. Oh my goodness. You've got to wonder, you've got to wonder how well. Kurtes is feeling now, like how much damage did that take there? If they break away again from the fence now, like what happens? If he takes another shot, what happens? Has he got his legs back underneath him? That's the big question. Oh, right hand lands there from Grubinski. Oh, this is unbelievable. Oh, right hand land again from Grubinski, like he's finding a home for that. <coughs> oh, no, not another shot from Kurtes. Grubinski trying to get him up against the cage there. See, step, step it away. Getting back on his feet, up a go. Oh, right, I'm knocks him out! Walk off KO! Oh, that's it, that's it. Hammer fist to finish, it was a walk off KO! Wow! That is a statement there from Gabinski. That is how you move forward and try to take your share of a million euros. <laughs> Holy moly! First round, like bang! Here we go. So we get a double knockdown and then we get a walk off KO. And dude, this guy came in tr uh, on 10 days notice for this whole tournament. Two days ago, he was informed that he's gonna fight this. No, one day ago, he's, he was informed that he's gonna yeah, fight yeah. this guy. Crazy mother <laughs> Crazy mother <laughs> What a night! Man. What a night! Oh, this? We don't even need this energy drink. He stepped in for Hathaway, so short notice against what is arguably the toughest you know, skill set in this tournament, and he dominated him. Unbelievable, man. Dominated. I pull up you deep on my dick, it's considered as pivotal. Trap through the app, make a clap it, though, cap it, she tapping it fast. I think that you know they be catching it. Standing six feet up, casting a shadow of because they talk like they bad, they know that we bad if they talk far from actual. I make the way so tsunami, I dare you to paddle it. Sabakian born Kristovic, superstar in Octagon, winner of season two from their Octagon Challenge, former middleweight champion, taking on Alex Zahori, the outsider, but the favourite in the tip spot odds. The crowd are behind Pyro Kristovic, however the odds, the odds makers back Alex Zahori. Wow, this feels special. This feels like a special fight now. Come main event, Alex Lahore. Alex Zahor looks focused, Pirat looks, I'm not gonna lie, he looks absolutely terrifying. This has got highlight all over it. No touch of the gloves, just straight into it. Massive low kick as well. Calf kick there from Lahore, and again. Wow, the crowd. Big right hand from Lahore there as well. 
I just heard Brian say that Pirat has never been knocked out, so this could be huge if Lahore can pull off this upset. Switching stances now from Lahore, keeping him guessing. Big body kick. He's taken to the ground, though. Four minutes. Four minutes and he's up against the cage. Crowd's not too pleased about this, but neither man. There's not much going on, but at least Lahore's not taking damage. Chipping away those shots from the top, elbows on the top of the head. This is good from Alex Lahore, though. He's back to his feet. He turns him against the cage. Amazing, amazing. Break away, that's it. Ah, here we go. Calf kick lands again from Lahore. These are big shots, big calf kicks. Body shot there from Lahore. That was a good first round, I think. Could have gone either way. Alex got some good shots off. But Pirat secured the takedown and kept that top pressure, so we'll see. We will see. Ah, big leg kick there. He switched stances, so his right leg's forward. And Alex is chipping away at that one. Big body kick, but he gets caught again. Hey. So Lahore's throwing big body shots, but they're getting caught. And that's what got him taken down last time. Oh, big overhand right there from Lahore lands. Pirat ate it though. Coming forward. Big overhand right landed again from Lahore, but Pirat can fall with his own strikes. Ooh, just missed there with left hook. Right, big looping right hand missed there for Lahore. Ooh, Lahore lands that right hand again. Uppercut. Oh, Lahore's swinging now. Recklessly. Big right hand again from Lahore. Switch stances, and again. Oh, big right hand! Oh my goodness! Wow, the sound of that. How is Pirat still standing? What must that feel like from Lahore's standpoint, landing such a big shot, and Pirat still standing in front of you? Oh, big straight right hand through the guard there, lands on Pirat. Pirat looking a little bit wobbly now. Lands his own back though. This man's chin is just made of iron. Ooh. Oh, ah! Hey, <laughs> high kick. Pirat's looking a lot more flat footed now, a lot more laboured in his movements. Lahore still looking pretty fresh. Wow. Oh, a bit of showmanship. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Going into the third and final round. For me, that's one all, so it's anybody's to take right now. Third and final, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, a body kick from Lahore. Pirat tries to go high. <laughs> Lahore shakes it off. Some showmanship right, right here. Oh, big left hand landed there from Pirat. We heard that one. Both these boys are swinging. Nice, Alex Lahore. Goes for a takedown. Goes for a takedown, secures the takedown. Amazing. That's it, he's got a body lock now. Can he wrestle? Pirat's using the fence as he should be. Turning. Alex needs to get up, get out. Big knee on the break for Alex Lahore. Two and a half minutes left in this final round. Jab lands again from Lahore. Ooh. Hey, kick. Oh, Lahore. Lahore's putting it on him now. Pirat's looking tired. Uppercuts on the break from Lahore. Ooh, el elbow forward there. Pirat again looking flat footed. Ooh, Pirat's nose is looking a little bit worse for wear. And the right hand lands again from Lahore. And again, and again. Up against, oh, up against the cage, the right hand lands. Alex can smell the blood. Oh, I think again from Alex. Right hand lands and right hand. These boys are swinging. No. Right hand, left hand, and that's it, put him down! Alex Lahore! Alex Lahore is back up! What? What is going on? Body shot there, left hand. Oh, these boys are going to town. What is this fight? Whoa! This is unbelievable! Big shot right in front of us now! Six 
seconds left. He's thrown his mouthpiece out again. He's took his mouthpiece out. He's saying, let's go. What's he doing? Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds, 16 seconds left. Push forward, Alex. He takes the takedown. That's all he needed. That's it. Making sure he gets those points. Yay! Stoffage, the amount of damage that he was able to take and just keep coming, like it was outstanding. But listen to this, this is what makes it interesting because he will go through into the lucky loser oh, yeah. and it's a good chance that they will vote him back in. Well done, you did well. Well done, you did great. Well, you know, I tell the man in the second round, like, stop going hard all the time, just f***ing our box this guy and, and then just hit him, just hit score points. Stop trying to kill him with yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on the comp. Before he puts everything in every punch. Yeah. It was too much. As I said to him, look, take it away, just start landing your shots, out points him, and then that the power will come. I'm going to tell you this, the guy that Cosmo is fighting, we know Cosmo, how durable he is, the longest training welterweight champion, the fight he put in here against Brito, amazing even though he lost. He's coming up against a, a guy nicknamed Brutal. He got that nickname after the beating he put on somebody to win the title. He left him in a bloody mess and that, that just stuck. Brutal, Lukas Sivic taking on the hometown favourite. My goodness, that was ear splittingly loud. Like, this is Davi Cosma. Davi Cosma. <laughs> Let's go. What a record. 42 professional fights, 30 wins. But he's going against this dude, the Polish Brutal Sivic. Precious coming forward though from, uh, from Cosma. Cosma wants redemption from his loss to Vito. What's the making of the statement? Oh, nice takedown there. Beautiful takedown. Cosma in the guard of Sivic now. Sivic looking steady on his back here. Pushes up for an armbar, then goes for a leg lock. Cosma says, no chance, let's get out of this. Takedown. Sivic back to his feet though. Two solid takedowns there. What oh, referee's falling over as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> referee got taken down. Ooh, big leg kick. Oh, Cosma there falls up with the right hand. Cosma's putting all the pressure on, got two takedowns. It's a solid fight so far, took no damage. Looking for the toss, oh, Cosmo keeps that pressure on. Got the body lock from the back, eating some elbows there. Oh, Cosmo goes for an elbow himself. Let's go. The guard loves it. Yes. Nice steady first round that for Cosmo. Let's see if Brutal can live up to his name. Ooh, deep kick there. Oh, big knee there from Simic. Cosmo ate it though. Still looks good though, still looks good. Oh, level change. Wow. This was so quick. Level change, gets the takedown. Back to his feet. Now Sivic is going for his own takedown. He's got it. Side control. This is where he wanted to be. 
Vucevic, the submission artist, the brutal submission artist. David Cosmos so strong, though, but he gives up his back, rolls out of it, ends up on bottom. Vucevic passes the guard now. Oh, leave our attempt. That's it, he's cleared the knee line, he's back out. Cosmos done it. This has been a great fight. Cosmo looking to finish the takedown. He's got his hands together. That's it, he's took him down. Woo! Alright, we're going to the third and final round of this main event. You can only see this one way, and that's uh, the rounds to Cosma. He secured the takedowns each time. And yes, there's been submission attempts by Sivic, but I don't think that's enough to sway the judges. Big right hand from Cosma landed there. Another change again there from Sivic trying to get a takedown. He needs it, he needs to get the takedown, he needs to do something with it. He's got it. That looks tight as that. He's not defending it. He's fighting. He needs to fight it. He needs to fight it. He's done it. He's fought it. He's fought it. He's still going. He's slipping up. David Cosma is made differently. Give me 10 more men. 10 more men would attack to that, I'm telling you. Cosma's on top. Big shot on the top. Cosma's on top, he flattens him out. 15 seconds left, and I think he advances. That's it. The winner, by split decision, and the last place in quarter-final tips for game changer goes for David P. Panther Woo! Split decision! I don't know about that one. Now this is normally the part where we say what a night, what, what a life. life. But, but we've got something a little bit more special because this is a tournament, there's a million euros on the line, Brian. What happens next? So we're going to go to the press conference where the eight winners will draw numbers one to eight. That will dictate where they put themselves on the bracket. They will even be able to pick which opponent they've got in the next round. So more drama coming tonight. Here comes the... Right, Brian, it's been decided. I love it. That couldn't have got any better. It's, that was ridiculous. I'm, sh I'm actually shaking because I thought it would be, you know, tentative, pick one side or the other. They're all up for it. They pick their fights. They pick the bracket. We now know every quarter final matchup. One will go down in Prague. One will go down in Oberhausen. We'll see you there. What a lie. What a lie. <laughs>